Hello kids, welcome back to your English lesson. How are you doing today? Yesterday was Thursday, so today is... Yay! Today is Friday, the last day of our week. Do you know what happened next week? We are going to see each other life daily. Are you excited? I'm super excited. Are you ready to start the class? Let's practice the tongue twister of the week. Tongue twisters. Five fat frogs fled from fifty fierce fish. How fast can you say it? Five fat frogs fled from fifty fierce fish. Faster still? Five fat frogs fled from fifty fierce fish. Can you go faster? I don't think so! now that you have a lot of practice. Now let's go to the class activities of the day. We are going to start on the phonology section of our book. Open it on page 25. Now let's relax our face muscles. Ready? Now pay attention to the following pictures. Listen and repeat. Chocolate. Toast. Cheese. Beach. Chin Thin Teeth Math Bath Mouth Now, we are going to listen again and write the words on the first step, on the first column. Are you ready? Lesson four. The words you will hear are not necessarily in the same order as the ones in the book. Watch out for the missing word. Teeth. Now, the last one is the missing word. Can you remember the missing word? The missing word is bad. Make sure you write it at the bottom of the list. 
Now, on step two, we have to turn the book upside down, listen again, and write the words on the column. Now we are going to use a pink color to write the words from this list. Are you ready? Lesson four. The words you will hear are not necessarily in the same order as the ones in the book. Watch out for the missing word. Teeth. Teeth. Very good, kids. Now let's turn to page 27. Over there, we are going to practice our spelling and our writing. Are you ready? You can do it. Look at the shape of the boxes. Write the words from the word bank where they correspond. So let's check. The big boxes means that we have to have letters as an L, T, or H. Can you see the long line on these letters? Let's try to make one together. I want to make this one. The word that I write on this space has to start with a big letter. Can it be cheese? No. Can it be teeth? Let's find out. So that was the correct space for teeth. Once again, check the shape of the boxes. Look at the letters on your word bank words and find the correct space, okay? You need to pay attention on how you write your words. Make the correct trace and give the proper space to each letter. Now to complete page 28, let's look at the vocabulary words again. Chocolate Toes Cheese Beach Sheen Thin Teeth Math Now that you identify each vocabulary word and its meaning, let's continue. Let me show you my screen, okay? Using our words, we have to circle the word to complete each sentence and then write it in the box. Let's look at the example. It has hot and sunny 
It was hot and sunny at the beach. That's the best option from these two. Let's try to make the number one together. Open your and say, uh, open your mouth or open your mat, which is the correct answer. Let's look. Open your mouth. Let's try the next one together. I ate a ham and sandwich. Cheese or thin, which is the correct option. Let's look. I ate, I ate a ham cheese and sandwich. Now that you already know what each word from the vocabulary list mean why don't you go and make the rest of the sentences on your own i know you can do it make sure you read mom or dad the homeschooling section whenever you have time keep practicing it okay now we are going to take a break over here please pause your video i will see you in a minute Hi kids, welcome back. Now let's go to the next activity. Here we are going to work on the global citizenship section of your book. So far, we have been talking about maps. What can you put on a map? A lot of things. Today, we are going to talk about a neighborhood map. Do you know what a neighborhood is? Pay attention, I will tell you next. Today we will read a neighborhood map. Do you know what neighborhood means? Let's look at the following pictures. That's a house. You live in a house. We have a map over here. Another map with a lot of houses, right? Another map with different buildings as a supermarket, school, an ice cream shop, the zoo, the park, and a house. Remember that you live in a house. So, what? Does neighborhood mean? Neighborhood mean the area where you live, okay? You live in a neighborhood, you have a neighborhood. Let's read the following text. Sam's teacher asked the students to sit on the floor in a circle. Some teacher asked the students to sit on the floor in a circle. In the circle, there was a big piece of paper. The teacher said, we will make a map of our neighborhood. What should we be on the map? Some thought about it. He said, my house should be on the map. Other students say the school and the park should be on the map. Sam and his class talked about where those places were found in the neighborhood. They drew map symbols for each place. They added a map key. They drew a compass rose. Sam and his class were excited. They were making a map. When it was done, the teacher hung the map on the wall. Ma Sam was proud. Their map could help people find their way around the neighborhood.
So with this reading, we can understand a little bit better what a neighborhood is. Let's look at the events of the story and place them in order. The class talked about what places were in their neighborhood. Is that how the story starts? No. Sam and his class sat in a circle. Was that the first thing that happens on the story? Yes. Now you should write number one on the square. Now complete the rest of the sentences on your own, all right? Let's look at the exercise below. Circle the two sentences in the story that tell how Sam felt about making the map with his class. Was he happy, excited, sad, angry? Read the story again and make sure you circle those two sentences, okay? Now, remember that a neighborhood is where you live. All the places that are around your home is part of your neighborhood. Now, let's turn to page 190. Can my life fit on a map? Let's Can my out. life fit on a map? Think about these questions. Where do you go during the day? To the school, to the park, to the store? What other things do you do? Do you play video games? Do you eat? Do you read a book? Where do you go to do them? Do you go to your backyard? To your living room? On your own room? How could you show them on a map? Now that you're ready, draw a map showing the places you go to each day. Show at least three places on your map. Have a map key for your map. Here's your map and the map. Make sure you pass your video here so you have more time to create your map, okay? Make sure you take a picture and send it back to me. Okay? I hope you had a great day. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you Monday. Bye.